I just really want to know what his actual voice sounds like. Do you guys know, or have you only heard his, that one as well? Okay. This is going well so far. Uh, and I'm celebrating tonight. Anyone else celebrating tonight? Anyone? I'm having a good night. I was having a good night. Now, I got a call from my older brother today, and uh, he told me he's having a kid, which is super exciting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be an uncle, which is awesome. Uh, but then he also asked me to be the godfather of his kid as well. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was what I said. Uh, yeah, it's so like, if he dies and his wife dies, and the kid goes to me, this guy, before you, I just told him, I was like, yeah, Michael, I'm 23 years old, I don't want your hand-me-downs, you can keep it. I don't know, I just, I, would, I, I don't want, I would be a single dad. I don't know if I could be a single dad. I don't know if I could do it, because I'm single. I don't have a lady in my life. It's because I'm, uh, just really bad at talking to the ladies. Ladies, where are you here? I can't see anything, so clap your hands. Usually when I ask that, it's like one clap, and I know there's more than one person, and then just like, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> no. Like, I'm just... I just judge everything I'm going to say before I say it, so I go with um, nothing. Like, that's my move, is just say nothing. Like, like if I was going to hit on you, I'd just be like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> this is better. <laughs> yeah. So you want to bang now, or what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was, I, was, I, was, uh, I was driving around a girl home a couple weeks ago, and uh, I didn't say a single word to her the whole time. And so, I, yeah, I got into her driveway. I was like, I should probably say English words to her eventually uh, before she leaves. So I looked her straight in the eyes, and I just said, Hey, don't worry. I'm not a murderer or anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The exact sentence a murderer is going to say right before he kills you to death. I know. And to make things worse, to make things worse, as I said it, like, I leaned in, and I bumped the auto locks with my elbow, and all the doors locked at the same time. Super embarrassing, you guys. I was so embarrassed. Like at that point, I had to kill her. I really had no choice. I had no other way to recover. <laughs> Earlier this week, I went to the store and uh, <laughs> I went to the store and I held the door open for this lady, and she was she was so good looking. She was gorgeous. I held the door open for her, and we made eye contact, and I said thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was like. Thank you. <laughs> For existing, I guess. I don't know. And then she just said, you're welcome, and kept walking. Like, that's how that, so that, that's how that works, I guess. <laughs> uh, murdered her, too. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> didn't have a choice. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell us by looking at me, but I like to smoke a little bit of marijuana every once in a while, every day. Like a half an hour ago, <laughs> my eyes are barely open still. I'm just barely like a baby chicken. I'm barely I'm just like. <laughs> oh, there's the world. <laughs> I don't know why I said baby ch- baby anything. I guess I don't know why I went with chicken. Probably because my legs are skinny chicken legs. I don't know. This is weird. Okay. You can always tell who the potheads are. Uh, like, uh, I was at the drive-thru on my way here, and I said to the guy at the drive-thru, I was like, hey, make sure you put extra ketchup in the bag, and then this is all I heard back, it was just, And I was like, pothead, that guy in there, for sure, like, no question. And then I pull up the window, I literally just see this guy dispensing ketchup straight into the bag. He's like, hey, this is what you want, is right? <laughs> so I know some friends the other day, we were, we were getting kind of ratty, drinking on the balcony, and I let up a, a joint, and I sort of passing it around, and I got to one of my friends, and he just went, no, don't. I can't smoke while I drink or I get too fucked up. And he did that, like for real. To prove his point, make his point even, I don't know. And then, 
We were just like, okay, man, that's fine. Just tell us like a normal person who tells people <laughs> things. They said, like, you know, there's different ways to pass on information. But then he continued to talk. He's like, yeah, just last weekend, I drank a whole 40 of vodka and then took one puff of a joint and I was sick for the rest of the night. <laughs> Must have been the weed. Yeah, okay, asshole, makes perfect sense. That's like saying, like, yeah, for some reason, like, I can't drink uh, rattlesnake venom while I smoke weed. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, my blood gets all thick and it won't go to my heart properly, and I fucking die. It's probably the weed, though, right? It can't be the poison I'm putting in my body. That doesn't make any sense. That's stupid. <laughs> you guys excited about the Olympics? No. Me neither. I just needed a segue for this next joke. <laughs> I think I think that society needs to stop caring if athletes smoke pot because really who cares? It doesn't affect anything, right? No one's ever been like, holy shit, did you see that guy? He did so well in that race, he must have smoked a joint out of his car beforehand. Like he had to, him. <laughs> right? There's some, some guys. Hundred meter dash, here we go. <laughs> you think I picked a short one? I don't want to do too much activity. <laughs> It was a fucking hot dog stand at the end, because I gotta be honest, I should have paid a hot dog guy to stand at the end, that would have ran so much faster. Idiot! <laughs> Bang! Oh, that was the race. Oh no, I missed it. <laughs> oh no. Like, if you win a gold medal when you're stoned, give that person another gold medal, because that's really fucking impressive, right? Just like, here you go, here's another one, because what you do is great. Like, because when I'm high, I can't even, like, leave the house, let alone enter a race. The only marathon I'm participating in is a Planet Earth marathon. Have you seen the deep oceans? That shit's incredible when you're high. Like, Andrew, what are you doing? Dolphins. <laughs> There's dolphins. Okay, what are they doing? Dolphin eat things. <laughs> Alright, cool, I'll check out you in four hours. It's like, that's it. That's, I'm not entering a race. Cool. Dolphins. <laughs> this is my impression of Angus talking about dolphins. Dolphins. <laughs> Yo, man. You seen those dolphins? <laughs> yeah, uh, what's up with dolphins? <laughs> I'm gonna say dolphins for the next three minutes. I watched this pretty sweet uh, documentary on uh, Coco the Gorilla, like that gorilla that knows sign language. That's the sign for Coco the Gorilla, the gorilla knows sign language. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that they can see it. I think it's pretty cool that they can teach uh, like gorillas and, and, and chimpanzees sign language and stuff. But I really think that the first sign they should be teaching them is uh, please no face rip off, because that would really solve a lot of problems, I think. Okay. <laughs> a lot of face lovers in the audience tonight, I guess. I didn't realize everyone in the audience had their face ripped off by an angry chimp. My bad. <sighs> so I think I'm going to hell. I think I'm definitely going to hell. Thank you. You guys just gonna talk now? Alright, cool. Now yeah, fuck this guy, we're done with him. We're just gonna have our own conversations now. Well, I think I'm going to hell. Um, and I, I really think that uh, like hell is different for each individual person. Like my hell would be um, just minor annoy annoyances 24-7. <laughs> Right, like you get there and the guy's like, oh yeah, he, he can only wear shoes with no socks. <laughs> so you have blisters all the time, rubbing against your shoes. But you won't, you won't, you probably won't notice because all that sand in your foreskin, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Just like the minor annoyances, you guys know what I'm talking about? This is gonna, this is, this is going well. <laughs> Started off shaky, went really good. And dropped off near the end. I was uh, watching T I was watching TV and I saw on the news that um, apparently this guy in Germany invented this new form of male birth control and it's like a switch for your balls. Yeah, do you guys hear about this? It's like a dick switch, so you like you, you flick it, I guess. I don't know, and it just like traps all your semen in the testicle area. Yeah. Even to the Germans to turn your balls into a concentration camp, huh? Oh, yes. I live for those groans. I live for those groans. Respect. Thank you. Didn't really ask for it, but thanks. Uh, you guys know those My Family stickers that you see in the back of uh, minivans these days? Those, you know, my, yeah, you hate them. Me too. Every time I see those, I think, oh yeah, that's how many people I would kill if I just cranked the wheel right now or ran them off the road. <laughs> I can think of two things 
I would do with the stickers. Like the first one would be uh, like just put a single man on the back of my car and then I'll drive around and maybe one day I'll see a single woman on the back of someone's car. <laughs> Follow her home. <laughs> so you got a girlfriend, right? She gets in her car, I just won't say anything. But I'm not a murderer! You know? <laughs> I can leave. Or the other thing I would do is just like buy a bunch of like the little children ones and just like just put them all across the back and then just put X's through them all. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see people's reactions as they drive by, like, oh my god, that guy has so many abortions. Alright, thanks guys, bye. <laughs> Andrew Crone, everybody, give him a hand.